Well, the hit series takes place during the Regency era in England, and our friend, lifestyle expert Lindsay Myers, joins us now from across the pond. Across the pond. Lindsay, where are you today, our international woman of mystery? <laughs> I am standing in Bath. England, the birthplace of Bridgerton. I'm in a gorgeous restaurant, the Ivy Bath Brasserie, and it's afternoon in Hollywood. So, you know, you must have tea, because that's what we do here in England. Well, it, it, apparently we must have champagne, too, because oh, well, you I... sent us some champagne and some uh, pastries or little macarons right here. What do we got it, going on? Exactly. Afternoon tea is not all about the tea. Here at the Ivy, we, we elevate it. We add some bubbles. But as you can see, you have colorful, beautiful desserts. It is such a fun, they do it every single day, but it is very British and we have so much fun doing it. All right, so Bath, of course, is where they shoot Bridgerton. What is the environment like there, Lindsay? Are they excited at all about Bridgerton or is it just uh, state people? They are so excited. This town is exploding for it because it is launching March 24th. I mean, we are just, it's every single where. The thing about Bath, it's like the perfect backdrop. You know, it is diverse, just like the show. You know, it's set in the 1800s. It has a little bit of scandal. It has a little bit of romance. With Bath has that everywhere. And it is like a walking movie set here. It is absolutely perfect place to be the backdrop. Now, do they call the town bath because back in the 1800s not many people took them and they're encouraging <laughs> hygiene a little bit do they bathe in bath you know what i'm gonna prove you wrong mario they actually bathe in bath but that's <laughs> where the name comes from so we're talking about in 60 a.d they created these roman baths so it is a world heritage site here so what it is it's a national thermal springs it actually flows still today it's the only one in the uk you know, they came from everywhere to bathe and to worship the goddesses and to get clean, Mario. They did clean. No, that's where they get cleaned that's up. They okay. Get clean. Did you go to any of the Roman baths? Oh my gosh. So you can't actually get in the ancient Roman baths. Mm. But Thermae Spa is absolutely gorgeous. They use the exact same water, that exact same, you know, natural thermal water. It's heated. They have spas. They have multiple pools, which is using that heated water that comes from the earth, and you can overlook the entire city. It has 42 minerals in the water, and you can swim like the Romans did. 2,000 years ago. How's the fashion over there? Because Bridgerton is all about the high fashion. Oh, oh my gosh. I always wanted to try on the gowns. I mean, who does it? So the fashion museum here in Bath is really cool. So it has fashion from the 18th century all the way to modern day. And you can actually try on dresses. I got to try one. I got to have my Bridgerton moments. It was so fun. And those dresses are really heavy. They look <laughs> They it. also have the assembly rooms there at the Fashion Museum, which is where they shot the Bridgerton, the galas, the big social settings. So you have a lot to offer there at the Fashion Museum. It was such an amazing time. Well, aside from Bridgerton, Bath, of course, is famous for being the home of Frankenstein, correct? Whoa, that is right. So a lot of people have heard of Frankenstein, but a lot have not heard of Mary Shelley. So Mary Shelley mm -hmm. actually wrote Frankenstein in sure. 1816 at the age of 19 here in Bath. So she was ahead of her time. So they have the Mary Shelley House of Frankenstein. <laughs> As you can see there, it's an immersive museum. They have visual effects. They've recreated wow. an eight foot Frankenstein. They have the history. And they even have an escape room that I think I still might be in if they didn't let me out of it. Look at, <laughs> look at that Frankenstein. That That's was like cool. a modern, sexy right? Frankenstein. <laughs> sexy Frankie. Uh, did you get to go to the Featherington family home or Lady Danbury's house? Yes. Oh, my gosh. So Lady Danbury's house is actually Hallborn Museum here. So the entire exterior is what they film it from. And you can tour it. It has a lot of history, a really cool museum on its own. And then the Featherton's house is called the Royal Crescent. So it's this gorgeous building that is shaped as a crescent. And they shot their house, which is number one, which you can actually tour as well. So Bridgerton's everywhere. That's so cool. Now, I heard you did a little penny for a thing, correct? <laughs> Oh my gosh, did I do it? I think you're gonna be impressed and a little terrified. So penny farthing, you know I like to oh always gosh. do something fun. <laughs> I like to have adventure and get creative on these trips for you guys. So penny farthing started in 1870. <laughs> so penny That's... farthing club took me out. <laughs> you look like Kermit wait, wait, in a cute way. Why, why, do you, why do you have the my guy helping you right short. there? Oh no, there you go by yourself. Go, Lindsay, go! I want one no. of those. I 
did my best. <laughs> they really thought that the bigger the wheel they made, the further and faster that it went. So that is why it was created in the first place. But when I tell you it is hard, it is one of the hardest things I've ever does, done. Does it come with your own little penny farther assistant like that guy? <laughs> Farnsworth? Lindsay, is there a height requirement and is it true or false that you might okay. have fibbed a little bit? Oh, oh my gosh, how do you know me so well, kids? <laughs> I decided to, to not know tell him my height, which is 5'1", and it's 5'4", is what you need to be. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hoover, you can't write that. <laughs> Listen, you wouldn't be able to write oh, that. get all that fur zine <laughs> thing, whatever it is. So, uh, for those who, who aren't able to travel all the way to Bath, um, there's a Bridgerton experience coming soon, correct? Exactly. So if you can't make it over here, but you got to put it on your list, but if you can't make it to Bath yet, they actually have a Bridgerton experience that is launching the end of March. So it's starting in Los Angeles. It's also going to be in DC, Chicago, and Montreal. It is an immersive experience. It's called the Queen's Ball. So you actually get to attend a gala. You get to get dressed up. There's the music, the food, the atmosphere. It is the way for you to feel like you are a part of this show. I mean, I feel like we have a gala in our future. What do you think? Oh, we're in. You know what I think? I think you need to work on your penny farthing. <laughs> that's that's what I think. I think you nailed it, Lindsay. No thank hope you for me. so much, no Lindsay. Hope. Thank you so <laughs> much. Salute to you. And listen, yeah. season two of Bridgerton premieres March 25th on Netflix. And for more great travel tips, just visit Lindsay's website and get lost with Lindsay.